Okay, you need your highlighter and your pencil. And the first thing we're going to do with our pencil is what? Write your name. Find a spot to write your name on the front of your book. Yes. Okay. What's the title of this story? The List. The List. Good. I see a st at the end of that list. We've been talking about those ending blends, those final blends. Yes, and you found the word the. So with your highlighter, we can highlight the word the. Let's go to the bottom. Yeah, and tell me what we need to highlight at the bottom. This, this tells the on, the on is my hands and my and and get. Okay, highlighter down and pencil ready. Oh, I see some quotation marks. Let's go ahead and circle those quotation marks and commas. What do quotation marks tell me? Talking. Somebody's talking. Yes, there's a quotation mark when they start talking and a quotation mark when they stop talking. Okay, so it looks like somebody's talking in the first sentence and then somebody's talking in the second sentence. All right, look at that first word I want you to mark through the E, rainbow to the A. What is he yelling over the K to her? What's your name? My name is A, so that word is t ache. Take. <clears throat> We have the site word this. Here's the word list. It has one of those blends at the end. You know what M-O-M spells, mom. They added an ending S to our site word tell. Now it is the word tells. Here's a burr and a nt. You know, burr, eh, nt. Brent, good. You know what R-U-N spells. Are you in? Run. This is a tricky one. It looks like what? 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 It's the word what. W-H together says wh what. What? What? what. And there's that word list again. So the first word is take, list. Mom, Brent, run, what, list. At home, press pause and practice reading this three times to yourself. And press play when you're ready to read together. Okay, let's read together under the word take, finger under take. Let's read. Ready and read. Take this list. Mom tells Brent. Run and get what is on the list. Okay, so who is mom, do you think? The one with the dress. Okay. And what is this guy's name? Brent. Brent. And what did mom tell Brenton to do? Take the list. Take the list and go where? Go get the stuff on the list, right? Mm -hmm. Is this fiction or informational text? Fiction. Is it realistic or fantasy? Fantasy. Yeah, how do you know? Yeah, do rabbits wear clothes? No. Do rabbits like shopping lists and wear backpacks? I don't think so. Okay. And this is kind of, yes, it's personification when they do that. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of cool. You can't really tell on your book, but on my book you can see that the art in this story is actually made, it's not a painting or a drawing. Look, they use, like, fabric, like cloth, to make these rabbits and make everything for the art. And they make paper also. Yeah, so it's illustrated by Dorothy Donahue. So she's the one that made that art for the illustrations. It looks kind of like paper towels, doesn't it? Huh. Okay, next. Let's see where he's going to go to get the stuff on the list. It looks like he's running, isn't he? Okay, get your highlighter ready and tell me what we need to highlight on that page. We can do two. T-O-O, -O, okay. He, his, and I think that's it. <clears throat> Two, he, and his. Can you do two, he, and his? And then highlighter down and pencil ready. I see burr and nt. Burr, eh, nt. What's his name? Brent. Brent. I see, yes, they added an S to the word run. Now it is the word Run. runs. Here's a consonant blend at the end, fast. Burr, eh, nt. And they put an S on the end of runs again. 
There's an ST together at the end of that word. Fast. Here's a dur. And an ending S. Drops. Drops. And list. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. So Brent runs fast. Brent runs fast. Drops list. Ooh, I think I know what's going to happen, but I'm going to practice reading this three times anyway. Press pause at home. Practice reading it three times. Press play when you're done. Okay, let's read together. Fingers ready under the word Brent. Ready and read. Brent runs fast. Brent runs too fast. He drops his list. Uh-oh, what happened? He dropped it into the car. Da, 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 da. So when he goes to the store, is he going to know what mom needs? No. He's not. Let's look at the next page. What's he doing? He's good. Yeah, he's digging in his pockets looking for that list. All right. Okay. Highlighter ready. What do you see? At is. At is. Uh-huh. And, and but is one of our sight words too. Is at the, and, but his is. Hey, highlighter down, pencil ready. I see a burr and a nt and Brent's name. I see a st and a nd in this word. St and. A burr and an nt and brent. Oh, there's an nt at the end of this word, but they added an ending s. So they made it hunt. There's the nt and the s, comma. There's a st at the end of list and a st at the end of lost. So we have the word brent, stand, brent, hunts, hunts, list, lost. Okay, practice reading this three times to yourself. Okay, ready to read together? Put your finger to that first word, Brent. Ready and read. Brent is at the stand. Brent hunts and hunts, but his list is lost. What does it mean that he's at the stand? What kind of stand is this? A food stand looks like like a vegetable, like a uh, farmer's market stand, maybe. Hey, oh, what does it mean that he hunts and hunts? Is he? Sh he looks for it. Yes, he looks for it. Okay, can he find it? No, no it's lost. Turn the page. Highlighters ready. What do you see? Gets. I see gets. Gets and gets and gets and gets and highlighter down and pencil ready. I see burr eh nt. They added the ending s to our sight word get and made it gets. Here I see st mp and the ending s a mp. Stamps. There's an ending S on the word eggs. Ending S on the word buns. Br -e -nt. Ending S on gets. Ending S on nuts. Here's an N to the end of this word. And an ending S. N -e -nt -s. Mint. -s. Okay. So, Brent stamps eggs. Buns, Brent, nuts, mints. Okay, go ahead and practice reading that to yourself three times. Press play when you're ready to read together. Okay, let's read together. Shh, Lillian. Okay, fingers ready under the word Brent. Ready and read. Brent gets stamps, eggs, and buns. Brent gets nuts and mints. Okay, what are stamps? What's a stamp, Yeah, Like you put it on an envelope. 
You put it in an envelope. And did you know that stamps cost money? And because you have to pay to send a letter in the mail. So that's what the stamp is. You pay the money for the stamp, and then you put it on your letter, and you can send it in the mail. What are buns? Like bread. Like bread. Like you put like, uh, kind of like a, that you use for a hot dog or maybe that you use for a hamburger. Okay. <clears throat> Nuts. What are mints? What are mints? Um, you know? The, like, candy. Yeah. They're candy, yeah, and they kind of make your breast smell better. Now, all these words, stamps, eggs, buns, nuts, mints, are those singular or plural nouns? Plural. Plural, because it means what? More than? One. More than one. Good. Well, for not having a list, he got, he got a lot of stuff, didn't he? All right, look at the next page. He's looks like he's headed home. Pilot, are ready? What do you see? The... On his back is one of our sight words. Two. Did not stop. Uh. Mm -hmm. The on his back. Did not stop to and uh. No, that's not one of our sight words. All right. I see burr. I see ent. Brent. This is a tricky word. It looks like put, but that word's not put. Put. Hang up. Okay, look at this next word. I see a CK at the end. Why is that spelled with a CK? One lonely vowel. You're right. That word is what? Sack. There's a CK in back. There's brr. Eh? Mm-t. Did not stop to. Ooh, here's a word that has two vowels. Look. You might have learned this in kindergarten. We're going to talk more about this later, but... We have a little song called, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. And what does it say? It's name. So I see two vowels right here. So the first one does the talking, okay? And what does it say? It's name. So it's going to be the word eat. Yeah, so I'm going to mark through the A and kind of rainbow to that E because the first one gets to do the talking. Eat. I know, it's, it's okay. All right. And then I see sn and ck at the end of this word. Snack. Good job, Seth. Snack. We got Brent put sack. Brent eat snack. <laughs> All right. Practice reading this. Push pause. Practice reading it three times. Then press play to read together. I want you guys to whisper read. Fingers moving, eyeballs moving, mouths moving. Okay, let's read together. Fingers ready. Under the word Brent. Is your finger under the word Brent? I'm waiting on everybody's fingers. Ready and read. Brent put the sack on his back. Brent did not stop to eat a snack. So where, what did he do? He put all that stuff in his backpack, right? And he's headed home and he didn't even stop to eat a snack. All right, last page. <laughs> All right, highlighter. What do we need to highlight? The I. The I. The I, I and. The we could do God, that's fine. Is the. the tell, said. Tells. Tells. Very good, yep. The, oh my good job. Nuts. But is one of our sight words as well. All right, get those ones highlighted. Get those ones highlighted. I the tell, but I got, and is the said. Highlighter down in pencils ready. I see st, lost. I see st, list. Oh, and I see quotation marks. Brent. There's an ending S on the word tells. You guys know M-O-M spells. Mom. Quotation. Okay, I see a st -mp and an ending S, comma, ending S, comma, ending S, comma, ending S, comma. There's an int and an ending S and a quotation mark there. 
Okay, quotation, burnt, exclamation quotation. And you guys know M-O-M, Mom. So we got a lot of stuff going on. We got some ending blends. Okay. We got some quotation marks and commas. And we got a lot of plural nouns here that end with S. And there's commas in between those as well. Okay. Go ahead and practice reading this to yourself at least three times. Okay. Press play when you're ready to read together. Let's read together. Put your finger under the word I. Ready? Ready and read. I lost the list, Brent tells mom. But I got stamps. Eggs, buns, nuts, and mints. Brent is the best, said Mom. Okay, so we have, why is there a comma between stamps, eggs, buns, nuts? Because we want to take a little pause. Want to take a little pause, but why? Remember we talked about this. Yes, because when it's a list of things, we put a comma between so that we know it's different things. Like, hopefully you don't have stamps eggs or buns nuts, okay? We're gonna put a comma between so we know it's different things, separate things, good. So he told mom that he lost the list, right? Why did she say that he's the best? Because he lost the list and then, and then he, he knew what to get. He still knew what to get even though he lost the list, good job. Yeah, so this story is realistic or fantasy? Definitely fantasy. What's the setting? The store, the, the store in the house. Yep. Okay. Or like wherever they live. Okay. What's that question that I ask if I want to know the characters? Who is the story about? Who is the story about? Where did it happen? Who are the characters? Brent and mom. Brent and mom. Good. And you already told me the setting is where and when does it happen? When did this happen? Yeah, in fantasy time, once upon a time maybe. But was it daytime or nighttime? Middle of Oh, good job. Okay, at home I want you to practice reading this book and send a video to your teacher of you reading the book.